Good morning, this is Ian Wilson, the Great Scott of Great Scott Productions. I want to talk this morning about um, Iron Fist. I just finished it. It was pretty good. Not as good as Daredevil, as uh, I stated in my halfway point review of Iron Fist. Uh, anyway, so as I said before, the fight scenes are pretty realistic, so pretty violent, but I appreciate the fact that they went to the trouble of portraying the martial arts realistically and uh, giving them I, what I think is the respect that they deserve. Although sometimes it could get pretty corny. That's, that's one of its failings. Um, as I said, it's very violent, but I think it properly illustrates the human capacity for evil and the level of evil that humans can sink to, uh, particularly evident in um, Henry Meacham, one of the characters who, uh, there is this one scene that's particularly gruesome, where he kills uh, two agents of the Hand, the Hand is a crime syndicate, uh, who have come to kill him, and he, he kills them first. And then he starts smashing their faces in with hammers so that the police can't identify the bodies. That was probably the most gruesome point in the show, but I think we can forgive them that because it did illustrate the badness of evil and how bad people can be. So I think we can kind of forgive them of that. Um, there was this really kind of awkward sex scene with uh, Iron Fist and Colleen Wing, one of the characters. And uh, I actually kind of skipped over that part because it just, it didn't seem to like advance the plot at all. So I think it was just a waste of time and really uh, kind of voyeuristic, if you ask me. Very low class, I would say. But overall, I would give the series one thumb up for production value. And uh, I'm looking forward to the next season, or whatever they're going to do next. Marvel seems to want to make like a crossover series with Daredevil and Iron Fist and... Uh, oh, what's that guy's name? Luke Cage. So I'm looking forward to that. And I will uh, talk to you again soon. Thank you for watching.